If you have a wig without bangs or that's a little bit too harsh around the front, you can fix this by creating a quick lace hairline. The first thing that you're gonna need is you're gonna need a piece of fabric called Swiss lace. Now you can find this at any fabric store. It's usually around the bridal aisles or with the tooling. You wanna find a fabric that looks sheer once it's over your skin. Next, you're gonna to wanna to cut a piece that's as wide as your front hairline or the area that you're trying to cover. We have ours cut and clipped to a clipboard. That'll help us hold it securely while we add the fiber. You'll want a fiber that matches the wig color. We're using a dark black jumbo braid. And you will also need a micro needle. This is an extra small micro needle. Okay, this is a very subtle process, but we're gonna try to pick up just one tiny piece of this lace. So we're just gonna hook in and pick up one line. And you wanna be very gentle, okay? And then you're gonna hook one hair. You're gonna pull it through, leave the loop out, go into the loop, and pull the end tails of that hair through. And it's as simple as that. You're just gonna continue working in this way, filling all of the holes that you need to. We're not gonna do every single one, we're gonna skip quite a few. But if you have very thick hair, then you'll want to do more, and if you want it thinner, you're going to do less. This is also a very convenient way to create pieces to cover bald spots or thinning areas. And you're just gonna continue working, going through and pulling them in. We've added enough hair that it should cover and mask the front of our hairline. So on here, I've done all these as individual hairs and I'll show you if you get impatient and you do too many hairs at once, it's going to look a little clustered. Here you can see where we've pulled in about three to four hairs per knot, and the rest of these are all in singles. This is a great method if you need to fill and it's going to be underneath, but if you wanna do something that's gonna be around a front hairline, make sure that you're doing them all in singles. Okay, so now we're just gonna put it up to our front hairline, and you can already see how that's just going to soften it out. This would be much better on a darker skin tone, but you get the idea. So the next step is to stitch that puppy into place. We're just going to begin sewing this onto the inside of the wig. That's going to leave this exposed hair just on the ridge of the outside, and it's gonna tuck that lace on the inside underneath. We're not gonna worry about cutting the lace just yet, we're just worried about getting it attached. And since this is a very uh, stretchy fiber, you just need to make sure that you're not bunching it up as you sew, so make sure that you hold it nice and straight. The last step is to cut the lace away from the hairline. With your quick lace hairline in place, you'll have a much more soft and believable hairline.